Just for me and my husband for dessert. And it's a black forest cake. Have you come to me here in the back? Mm -hmm. You must trust me. This shelter, this is on, no? Yeah. You make it after your um, turn off. Or you remove the cable. Cable, yeah. And then we save a lot of energy, you know. Hello guys, so welcome back to yet another video. If you're a new subscriber here, welcome to the family. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for being with me and I hope you enjoy your stay here. So as you can see, if you can remember from my last videos, I was always begging my husband to make this treadmill so that i can start using it because i feel like i've been so lazy and i don't walk a lot as i used to in kenya before so i wanted him to make for me this treadmill so that i can be exercising while i'm in the house because i stay at home a lot let me just say i'm a housewife nowadays <laughs> so a little bit exercise will really help so he finally decided to make it and as you can see here i was helping him clean it and it was ready to use so i was so excited that i can finally be able to use this treadmill so here You make the program? I make cookies. Oh, this is hard. Today? Yeah. Mm. It's not that. Oh. Okay. It's not good. So and now we say here plus the speed of three. Eight. Baby. Of three eight, you can no more, no more go, no more go. No more go, no more go. No more, no more, no more, no more, go no more, go no more. I'm no more. Why you make this? How you want me to make it? Like this. It's better for your feet. But the other makes the horn hot. You make faster or what? No, going on the mountain. Ah, okay. Why is that going faster? Baby! Baby! Let it up, let it up and then... Baby! Let it stop! Oh my god! Oh my god! You say... You say to me, he go down. You say to me, it's not fast or what? And then you make it 
<laughs> so now change your dress and make okay. exercise. No, we don't put it in. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we uh, put the device up oh. and turn the fingers count the balls. So the next part of this video is great great news so i wanted to be a little bit dramatic and put for you my traditional dance before i tell you what it is <laughs> finally now i am not illegally in germany anymore So there you go guys that's the good news i finally got my german residence card and i was so excited because i had only been given an extension of my visa and i was all that time waiting for my residence permit so when it finally came i was so excited and i had to share the news with you guys so to celebrate my husband decided to cook for me the traditional german feast it's a grill call and kassler nacken kassler kassler nacken schweinebacke mettenten schwein äh, bauch <laughs> bauch okay my husband explained it well but i call it grünkohl because that's what it's called it's grünkohl yeah. yeah so this is what we eat for dinner It's a traditional food. So guys, ah, I can't tell you how excited I am today. So in the night I couldn't sleep because I've had the worst toothache of my life. Like I have never had problems with my teeth before and I couldn't believe how painful something can be in our bodies. Oh my God, it was so painful. So being a Sunday today, we couldn't get any doctor. But there's a emergency line you can call in Germany and then they, they can navigate for you a doctor. So we managed to get a um, doctor who was open just close to our area where we live. And we went and I got some numb medicine. So I have to go back to the doctor tomorrow for my teeth to be removed. Anyway, so while I was having all this stress, I received a package from Kenya. <laughs> And this changed my mood completely. I even forgot that I was crying the whole night. <laughs> yeah, so I recently posted on Instagram. I just took a picture. I had a picture of this. I saw it on the internet and I posted it on Instagram and said, can someone please send this to me in Germany? My small sister went and bought all this uh, Kenyan stuff for me and then there's a friend of ours who was traveling from Kenya to Germany luckily my sister just went to the supermarket and did a lot of shopping she didn't even ask me what I need she just decided that she's going to shop for whatever she thinks I need and then she gave them to our friend and our friend just brought them right now so let me just show you the things that I was craving for and she just bought them and I am so impressed and I am so happy yeah, I'm so happy if you don't know the Germans don't use uh, spices to cook okay even if they have spices the spices are not uh, African spices you know so the spices they use are different from home so I just wanted spices from home so that I can cook food which is close to home you know and my sister decided to grant my wish so let me just show you what she bought for me guys so she brought this if you're a Kenyan you know how farmers choice changes our life when I was living in Kenya I didn't value some things yeah I thought they were just obvious and I thought oh other countries have better quality than this oh my god until I stepped into German German is known as the country of sausages but there's no sausage in Germany which is close to farmers choice sausages if you're someone living abroad and you're watching this video please just comment down below and tell me if you've ever found a sausage which tastes as close as farmers choice sausages as in living in germany i thought i would be wowed by the sausages here but i swear the sausage from farmers choice is a sausage that you will never find anywhere else in the world i swear and the shops which are here in germany are mostly Ghanaian shops 
African shops in Germany, uh, in Hamburg, most of them are run by Ghanaians. So they only sell Ghanaian foods and stuff, yeah? So I am yet to find a Kenyan shop. But if you guys know what I'm talking about, Nyama Bite, if you've ever tasted this thing, you will know why I was craving for it. I mean, yeah? I couldn't have sausages transported, but at least I got a Nyama Bite, yeah? I can get a taste from home. So I only got three of them, so unfortunately, but okay. So then I got spices. I don't even... I don't even know what is this for a spice. It's not labeled. And then I got some iliki, which is cardamom in English. I don't know why I can't find the whole cardamom in German. I like using these ones. I prefer the fresh ones. They smell better and they have a better taste. And then I got this also. Jira in Swahili. So this is a spice we use to make mostly pilau and it smells so good. When you're making rice and you just put a few of these, my god, your rice will change completely. And then I got also these are spices. And then I got my Kenyan chepda, as in there's no better chepda in the world than the Kenyan chepdas, yeah? I've never tested from Amigos. But I know the ones from Tropical Heat are the best, yeah? Anyway, so yeah, I got that. And then of course, Royco. And then cubes. I mean, who cooks without Royco cubes? As in, I've been cooking with Royco cubes all my life. And then I come to Germany, I can't find them. And funny thing, Knorr is a, is a German company. So I don't know why they don't have this in Germany. Yeah. Anyway, so I got the beef cubes, I got the chicken cubes. And then beef cubes and chicken cubes. I got chicken masala and then coriander and then mixed spices. Oh my god, this is a game changer. This is going to change our food completely. The good thing about my husband is that he loves spicy food. He doesn't mind. Then I got the biryani masala. I got also turmeric and then I got the garam masala. As I think all of you are wondering why I just didn't go to an Indian shop to buy this thing. I swear I went to an Indian shop. It's just opposite my school where I go to my German classes. And I went there and I didn't see any spices. Actually the reason why I went there is to look for spices. But I didn't find any spices. I was shocked. Or maybe they label them in Indian. I don't know. I didn't see any spice that I, that I could buy. I got the cinnamon. This is very good for making tea. And then I got the beef masala. I got the hot and sweet, guys. Oh, I don't know if you guys know how this thing tastes. It tastes so good. And then I got the simba mili. I don't think there's any meal in Kenya which I used to eat without this. The curry powder. The Simbambili to be specific. It's like the oldest curry powder I know. Ever since I was born, this is what we used to use. And the food just tastes like home. And there's that taste which you won't find in any other curry powder. So that's all I got from Kenya, guys. And I'm so happy. Thank you, my sister. I love you. Thank you for making it happen. So my wisdom tooth was finally removed and my husband lied to me that it wasn't painful but oh my god I could not eat or speak for two weeks and this is how I was. <laughs> not speaking your teeth. <laughs> So that's how I was for two weeks, guys. It was a very tough time for me because I've never had a tooth problem before. And it was my first time having a tooth being removed. And because it's winter, it was more painful like. <sighs> but I thank God I'm now doing well. I'm okay and I can get back to content creation. I can get back to doing what I love most because I love talking and editing videos <laughs> yeah so here my husband bought me flowers just to make me feel good because it was a tough two weeks for me guys so thank you for all the people who checked up on me thank you for all the people who sent me messages in instagram asking where i was and i really appreciate you guys i cannot tell you how much i felt so loved i didn't even imagine anyone would notice that i was so quiet but some of you guys texted me on 
my socials asking me how i'm doing and thank you guys thank you so much So the winter days in germany can be so boring because it's always raining and it's very cold outside but the sun came out and we decided to go to the zoo and it was very fun i enjoyed every bit of it but i was so shocked to see cows and goats in a zoo these are animals that we literally eat <laughs> <laughs> what? Like it's a spoon food. <laughs> yeah, you know? So today I'll be cooking turkey. So I've already cut my onions and tomato. And this is the ginger garlic sauce which I always make in advance. And then I'll be making it with this spaghetti. How the end looks like. That is for my husband. <laughs> <laughs> 